friends, it's Teresa from Star Stylist Homestead, me and my crazy hair today. Um, I just, you had come on while I was working this morning, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm raw packing my chicken again. I've been using it so much that I needed to do some more. I still have some, but always good to stock up. And I need the room in my freezer, so. I figured, yep, today's a good day, but what I'm also making is a triple berry pie filling. Yeah. And I made one batch already and then realized I didn't even put my camera up to record it. So, I figured I'd get this chicken done first, because this is going to take a little bit. And uh, then I'd come back and do a second one, but... <clears throat> I have two legs and two thighs in here. Usually I have all legs. Um, but today, I'm doing both. So think about it. That's, if it's only two of you, that's a meal for two of you. Or if there's even one of you, you can open that and use the chicken. Um, different nights, different meals. Make anything you want. My, ug my ugly chicken potato salad. Well, oh, that's a small little brush right there. But anyway, as soon as I get to my. Um, right now I have the high filling water bathing. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to stick this in the pot. And then I will be back and show you how to water bathe the blueberry, the triple berry pie filling. <laughs> so, I shall return. Okay, I'm just cleaning up my jars now. I only got six out of this, this one. Of course, I got a pound of nasty uh, fat. I'm using vinegar around my edges, make sure there's no fat, grease, whatever. These are cold packs, so you do not need liquid. And I am ready for my lids. They're all boiled, sanitized, and then getting ready to get in the up in the pressure canner. Don't touch the rings. with any canning. As far as your fingers will take you. Don't put your wrist into it. And a short one. Now I just have to wait. And put, actually, I can put them in. Give me one second. Because it's cold packed, so I don't have the water going. I'll bring you guys over here. And my jars. I don't usually do it with them without it being full, but I'm only shy one jar and I don't have any of the chicken out, so I'm gonna put these. do it on that one. So I'm not even going to put my burner on yet because that one goes up in a few minutes. So try putting it on the right way too, so like with your glass on. Okay. Alrighty. It's all set to go. Um when we get it over there, I will return. 
I'm going from this, ready, to this. I actually made one this morning. I wanted to see how it came out. Although the difference is those were defrosted. These are not. So this is going to take a little bit longer because I actually have to cook those and get them all defrosted. But at least I know the uh, liquid content in them. It's about a cup of liquid. So I'm going to minus a cup of liquid when I do these because I'm using, obviously, the juice of the frozen one. This is super easy, triple berry. Um, I put some sugar in here. I'm going by, oh, by the way, look. I don't know if you can see it. I want to show you. This is the cake I made. But do you see, I had told you I made it too wide across. So I folded it over, a little over an inch, kind of close to two inches. I folded it and sewed it so there's a pleat down the front. But it works. And it's a good thing my niece was here because she says, I said, what was I thinking? Putting white pants on today, working with berries of all things. Berries. White and berries don't go together. So I said, you know what? She says, you need a cape. I said, oh, I can wear my cape. So I am. So anyway, normally when you make this, you do all the liquid first and put the berries in last, right after your lemon juice. But because they're frozen, I'm going to slowly add the sugar in. I'm going to use one cup of the sugar right now just so I have something that will mix with these berries. Oh, and my canner is going. I have my ugly chicken in my canner. I think I'm going to add a little liquid too, just so we don't get any sticky. So my liquid, there we go. I'll do half the, half the liquid and half the sugar, just because they're frozen. And this is, of course, they're going to take longer because they're frozen. Um, but if you defrosted them and uh, did this, that lit, those right there took longer in the water bath than it did for me to make them. So 35 minutes in the water bath. Um, so you would put your sugar gel. Let me just I don't want to read it you're wrong here. Um, for three pounds of berries, I use 2.33 cups of sugar. I broke this down. Um, me and Alexa. Um, sugar gel is a heap and half a cup. Water is 3.1 cups. So tag more. And then lemon juice, 0.166. I put a quarter a cup. So you would do your, I'll bring you back because I don't have my thing on this morning. Um, your sugar, your sheer gel, clear gel, mix it really good. Then add the water or juice because you can use juice also. Um, with any of these. I can stir in it constantly until the mixture thickens and it begins to bubble. And let me tell you, as soon as it starts thickening, you better stay right there because if you turn around, it's sticking to the pan, literally. It thickens that fast. Once that temperature gets up to, all right, I'm ready to thicken, it's seconds. That's how fast it is. So stay with it. I promise you won't be sorry if you stay with it. You will be sorry if you walk away. Um, then you put the lemon juice in, stir it, and then you add your berries. But because I'm doing it frozen, well, we have to let these defrost first. So I'm slowly 
getting them defrosted. But I want to show you this. Oh my word, I tasted it. Oh, I had my niece taste it and Mary. Look at those berries in there. Doesn't that look scrumptious? Ugh. And I don't, honestly don't think it's going to take that long to defrost those either because they're coming up good. And I literally just picked that out of the freezer. I only wanted to do one um, because I've never made the berry before. And I'm actually using a blueberry pie filling recipe because they don't have they don't have it for the triple berry. But I figured, what's the difference? So I'm using the higher of time-wise. Let me turn this on here. Let me put my been going for 10 minutes. So now I need to bring it up to pressure and we'll get rid of that noise. Um, so I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So it's not a tested recipe. I seen somebody else had made it. She didn't use the sherry gel though. Uh, she thickens hers later. Each one of these have already closed. Um, so yeah, I'm leaving it the longer amount of time. So always look at the whatever berry takes the longest to water bake and go with that. It's a yucky day here. Rainy, I think for the next few days as a matter of fact. So I'm glad, I mean, it's still gonna be like 77 degrees, but rainy. Yep. So anyway, when this comes up, I'll come back and update you. And I'll show you how yummy. Okay, friends. I actually added the rest of my water and my um, sugar. I do not want to add the clear gel until this at least starts to come to a little boil. Because um, once that starts thickening, like I said before, it goes fast and I don't want it to thicken while the berries are still frozen. So we have that. And same with my lemon juice. I'll put that right in at the end um, and then do it for a minute and then we're good to go. But don't those look beautiful over there? Those are my first jars. And oh God, they're so good. Oh, let's see, I'm up to pressure here. So, start turning this down a little bit. I'm going to set it for 90 minutes. So I'll keep an eye on that. And I have um, right here, I have all my jars in there. They were boiling, but I needed the burner. I couldn't, I couldn't do my berries on the stove with both these big pans in that pan. So I took, I let that boil, I took it off, and once this is done, I'll bring it back over here and turn it up and let it boil again. Um, you always want at least two inches above your jars once they're in there full. So I have plenty of water in there. And I'm just gonna get my lemon juice and my Sherdale ready, and I'll be back. Yeah, I keep saying sure gel. I meant clear gel. Sure gel is one of the names. <laughs> I meant clear gel. Okay, friends. I am here, and this is boiling to a nice boil. So, I'm going to add my sure sure gel in. I got a little over a half a cup. I'm going to get that mixed in really good. And I want to see how fast. There's 123 in my other timer. This comes together. Although, I don't particularly like that. Let me get my in here. See, it didn't do this clump up when I obviously. I'm going to still leave that in there, but I'm going to mix these with this. Let's get that sure gel in there nice and good. 
you don't want it clumpy. Of course, that boiling water is going to melt that. Might as well help it along, right? I'm gonna put, this is on a timer. It's been one minute since it's been in here. I'm gonna pause you and bring you back as soon as it starts thickening, and I'll tell you how long it took. Friends, it was, ow. It's a spitter. My God, I'm frying myself with this. I even turned the heat down. Um, it took a good 10 minutes. Holy mackerel. Hold on. I have a cape on. This is a mess. Holy. It's all over my canner. <laughs> Look at this. Remove some of that from the heat. It's taking longer, I think, because the berries were frozen. So I would suggest you guys get your berries out the night before and you want to do this. This this would have been done already. And it is thickening up, you see. So it shouldn't take long now at all. And then I gotta put my lemon juice in. But um, yeah, and I had to actually go in and fight the the clear gel and get that clear gel off. That goes my white thing. Um, lumps of it, clumps of it. So, yeah, definitely take them out first. My other one would have been done already. <laughs> but look at this, how much it's splattering. I'd be wearing that with the white on, no less. Oh my God, you should see my microwave right now. So check this out. I know I shouldn't be doing that when it's coming up to... So anyway, oh, how's that? You want to see my armpit? And you can't even see that. So once this is done and it's thick enough, I'll bring you back. Friends, this is too dangerous. So because they were frozen berries, this is why it's taking so long. So this is plenty thick enough for me. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to show you. Hold on. But I want to take it off the heat first. Let that stop a minute. I'm gonna put this back on. And might I add, when I say that's a spitter, that is a spitter. I had to even put this on because it's getting all over my new cabinets, but look. And I'll show you, hold on. Get some water on for that first. I mean, it was tearing me up and noticed my rug's missing. <laughs> because it splashed all over my, over me, my rug. Good thing I had freckles, look. <laughs> it just blends in with my freckles and my cape. Yeah, it's splattered. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So here we have, but look, it, because it had to boil so hard, all the berries are just mixed in now. They're not full berries. My other one is full berries. So yeah, take them out first. All right. So here we go. I'm going to bring you down here. Oops. I'm going to put this pan. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe over here. My pad. And turn that up. Those are still really hot. So here we go. 
I have six in here. I believe it's only going to take five. So, yeah. Yes, I need this. <laughs> and this. You want to leave, because it's a pie fill-in, I found, leave a good inch headspace on this. Because it's going to expand. And you don't want siphoning. So, I'm going to take a couple of these out. I'm dumping the water back in there so that it brings it right back up over the jars. I boil this so much I might barely get five, which won't be a bad thing. I had the first one on one of my rolls I made the other day. Oh, that was good. I just heated that roll up. It was delicious. Doesn't that look yummy? Look at this. And it smells amazing. You can't even see what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely, definitely, definitely make sure my berries are defrosted because, I mean, this looks good, but that other one this morning looked amazing. All my berries were whole. Just so you know, if you're only going to do a couple of them, make sure you leave a jar full of water in there, um, just so that they don't move around in there and hit up against each other. You don't even have to have a lid on it. Yeah, I think this is only going to make four. It is. See, because I had to boil it for so long. That's okay. Jeez, is it even going to make four? That would be okay too because I'd put one in the fridge. If this one's not cold. Wow, I even had some left over in there this morning. Goodness all off there, it's no waste. Oops. Oh, that's so disappointing. I lost, see, I lost a whole jar of berries by by using frozen berries. Mm. That's yumminess. Tastes the same. Yep, four jars. I'm the finger licking good queen. Didn't I tell you, no waste? So, those jars. And look at this. There's my pinky. I have shirt gel, a chunk of shirt gel on there. You wash this off. Grab my vinegar. This is a must, white vinegar, because you see around this jar right there. That will prevent it from closing. And because it's berries, I'm going to get any air bubbles out. Oh, hot jar. I can probably put a little bit of this one into this one. I think I'm going to. I'm 
wipe a little bit of this, put it into that one. And about all the same. Yeah. Still got ripped off the jar. Now my vinegar. Get all that off of the rim. Because all that sugar will prevent that from sealing. And after that work and being splattered everywhere, I want all my jars. <laughs> safe and sorry, right? Okay. Now, I have my lids. One, two, right there. tight. Just finger tight. Now because I added that sure gel and I want to show you. You can see right there. I have sure gel in there. It's not a lot. Oh, but it's enough. <laughs> Take your Going back in the water, take your berries out the night before, or the morning before if you're going to do this at night, whatever. Oh, I might have to take some of this water out. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Nah, I'll leave it for now. Okay, now. That's boiling, but let me bring you right here. It's not a rolling boil. You want this really bubbling and boiling before you start your timer. So, I feel like I got, oh, I do, see? It's everywhere. Of course, that was for me, is it? You want your, uh, you do not start your timer until that is at a rolling boil. And then start your timer or whatever your elevation is. So, lids on, and we'll be back when it's all done. Okay, friends, timer's going off. So, I'm gonna shut both these off, along with the timer, sorry. These are done. I'm gonna remove the lid. Ah! Wow, that water really boiled down. Because that was a good two inches above that. Let me put this over here. And I'm just going to take one out while you're on here and let you see. Otherwise, let it sit. Do not remove the water from the top of that. Look at that, baby. I'm just going to take them out. Wow, that looks good. Looks just as good as the first ones. Ooh, did you hear that one in there, Pop? All right, always leave room between them. And that's good to go. And my cannon jars will come out here shortly. And then we will be done. So there's my second batch. You see what I mean with how much I put in the jar? If you look, 
it expanded. Look at that one. So always, always go by the directions when it says to leave a certain amount of head space. Um, these are cool enough, I want to show you. I left the same amount of head space in these. Something just fell off my washer. And those are all completely full. Ah, oh, did you hear that pop? So anyway, I'll be back when that's done. There's another pop. One more thing I wanted to show you as far as the headspace goes. Absolutely no siphoning in there. That's completely clear water. And that, my friends, is what you want. Clear water. Had those been too full, it would have seeped out from under the lid. So there you have it. I'll be back. Okay, friends. <clears throat> Last but not least, the chicken is done. So watch this. Always open it away from you. And always spill. Boy, do I really have to clean this now. I've got that juice all over it. Okay. Oh, and one other thing. Never, ever, ever put jars on the bottom of a pan. Always use a trivet. This was inside my, this is from my Instapot. I needed to use it inside my red pan to do my jams. Never put a glass jar in the bottom because you take a chance of cracking it. So, I don't know if you heard that or not, but my jars are popping already. Look at that. See the boiling? So we have six more meals right here. Look at that yumminess. And do you see why you don't add juice to coal pack? You see how much juice is in there? Because you get it all from the chicken itself. If you added juice in there, any kind of juice, that would end up siphoning. So, cold packed chicken, which means chicken that's not cooked. Now you see this one. This one's less, but I had smaller pieces, and you never know. I probably had pieces with less fat on them. So you just don't know. See, each one of them is different. But then you have this one here that's almost full. And there you have it, my friends. Let me separate those a little bit. I have my six chicken. And my nine pie things. Um, I do want to show you if these are cooler, but so I'm going to pick it up. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn you away from that light a little bit. You can actually see the whole berries in here. This one is from this morning. <clears throat> and this one, let me turn you here. You can see where it's all separated. <laughs> Look at the difference. That one is my whole berry one, and this is the frozen one. So, but there you have it, friends. It's beautiful, isn't it? And that's what a little work does. Extra work during the day. Um, and now I have six meals and nine different desserts. I actually put those in smaller jars. If I was going to make a pie out of that, I'd have to use two of them. But I decided, not knowing if I was going to like the berry, until after my first batch anyway, um, 
I decided I'd rather have them for, like, I could use that as jelly if I wanted to, um, in the fridge, but I want to make tarts out of them. So it's not so much of the filling as a pie filling, you know? Um, so that's my plan with those. I might make a pie of it. I don't know, because it's really good. Both of them taste exactly the same, but you see, I lost, literally, I lost a whole jar by using frozen ones. Don't use frozen ones. I mean, because I used the same amount of everything, the water and the juice, and yeah, it, it wasn't worth it. I lost a whole jar, and then some, because I had probably a quarter of a cup that we split between us today, or close to it, just tasting it this morning. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Have a great day.